Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today's video is going to be my 2019 Project Pan finale. It is almost the end of the year, and I wanted to go ahead and let you know how I've been doing on my last remaining five products, and also give you a little bit of a recap on my entire year of Project Panning, how many items I used up, how many things I hit pan on as a result of this Project Pan. All of that, I did the same in last year's finale, and it was really fun to get to look back and see how much I accomplished over the year of project panning. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not in the best mood today. I'm a little just like low energy. Got some really sad news this morning about my sister's cat, um, and just a lot of things going on, and I just feel kind of, I don't know, <laughs> having a lot of feelings right now. I am going to try to power through this video. So if you saw my last Project Pan update, you know that I was left with five products. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, I didn't finish any of these. This last, last month has been a bit chaotic for me because I moved and I'm still in the process of unpacking and um, a lot of my makeup is still packed. So I wasn't wearing makeup a ton and I wasn't, I just really wasn't focusing a ton on my Project Pan. Oh, I also wanted to add, I'm gonna just be lumping in my lotion Project Pan finale into this video as well. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a very exciting <laughs> finale because I did finish most of the things, but I also ended up having to throw away a lot of the last products that I had left. So um, there's not a whole lot to show you for that. <laughs> but I figured I'd at least give you a little closure on that project as well. So first of all, we have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne. For the majority of this month, this was just packed in a box, so I really didn't use it very much, but I did use it today, and I, I, I think I used it a handful of times, so you may be able to see a little bit of progress, a little bit of the pan expanded there. I do wanna finish this product in 2020, I think. I started this, I think, in May of this year, May or June, and when I first added it into the project, I hadn't even hit pin yet. So I feel like I made significant progress on this this year, and I'm really happy about that. Also from Wet n Wild, I have their Walking on Eggshells quad. It's an eyeshadow quad. This I kept in my makeup bag this month, so this is something that I did wear quite a few times, just when I was doing a quick look. And um, I'm not wearing any of these on my eyes right now, but I am actually wearing a mixture of the brow bone shade and the eyelid shade as a highlight. I don't mind it. Sometimes it can be a little too frosty, but I kind of just wanted to use it at least a little bit today since I knew I'd be filming this video. I really expanded the pan on the transition shade this month. You can see I actually hit pan in another spot. Um, I'm sure that'll just become one large pan soon, but um, really exciting progress there. I think I expanded all four pans this month, so um, very proud of that. This is another thing that I think I would like to finish in 2020. Um, I will be doing a project pan in 2020, as I've already kind of mentioned, but I haven't selected those products yet. I'm thinking I may actually film as my intro. I may film the process of me choosing which products to pan. I may do a poll on my community tab or just on here, um, or both, <laughs> asking you which you'd prefer, just a regular intro, or if you'd like to see the process of me selecting those products, but that's kind of a different story. I'm not sure, like I said, I do want to try to finish these in 2020, but I'm not sure if I will put them into that project immediately because sometimes I like to take a break from products after a while just so I can keep things fresh. So next I have two eyeliners. The first one is the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Pencil in Black Point. In my December update, I did say that I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I was gonna declutter this. Clearly I ended up keeping it. Um, I just wanted to see if I could make some more progress on it. I did make a tiny bit of progress this month as you'll see. So um, yeah, I'm not quite ready to part with it. I feel like I can still make some good progress on this. The NYX Epic Ink Liner is um, another one that I really didn't use very much this month. Today I opened it because I was going to use it and I realized, oh my gosh, you can see it now. It's happening again. It's like bleeding ink or you know, liner, liquid, so I feel like this might be done for. I think maybe through the move it just didn't really make it, and now it's just like kind of way too juicy. I don't know why that's happening. It's like the longer I've used this pen, the juicier it's gotten, which usually it's the other way around, right? So I think this is done. I, I'm not gonna say that I finished it, but I am going to toss it because I think it's lost. It's I think it's pretty much 
at the end of its rope. But I did really enjoy this liner for over a year, so I feel like I got a good amount of use out of it, and I'm glad I put it in the project because it got me back into using this product, whereas before I really wasn't using it very much at all, and it got me back into winged liner, which I really do enjoy. So, sort of finished, but not really. I'm not gonna count it as a finished product. Finally, my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Uh, I do feel like this will be done very soon. I used it a lot this month because my lips were so dry and honestly I was so desperate for something to moisturize my lips because none of my lip balms were doing anything. <laughs> so I reached for this a few times as like a lip treatment. I think it helped a little bit, it's really not even meant for that, but I do find this to be a very nourishing gloss. I'm wearing it today on my lips. My lips are a wreck, you guys. Anyway, that's also another tangent <laughs> for another day. but. Either way, I'm not finished with this yet. I'm able to see a little bit of daylight through this container when I hold it up to the really bright light here, but I don't think you can see that. <laughs> but I promise, I, I like, and when I look in there, I can definitely see through the middle part, which explains why it has been a lot more challenging to get product out on the doe foot. So I'm just gonna keep scraping it out until I can't get anything out anymore. I don't think I'll remove the stopper. A lot of you guys advised me against doing that. You said it turned into like a huge mess when you did it. So I think I'm good. I don't feel like I'm gonna need to do that. Still not quite finished, but I do feel like it's getting very close. That is where I am on those final products. I didn't expect to be finished with, with any of these this month, so I, I feel pretty good about all of those updates. Um, I wish I could have used this blush more, but I didn't end up packing this in my makeup bag that I had with me because it's hanging on by the sticker and I really didn't want it to break. Now to give you a quick update slash wrap up on my lotion project pan, which I'm really sad that I don't have a more exciting finale to share with you. The real purpose of this project was to finish most of these things before my move anyway, so I still feel like it was quite successful. It's just kind of an anticlimactic finale. So in my update a month ago, I was left with five products, including one that I had rolled in, and those were the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Butter, the Nubian Heritage Shea Butter Body Lotion, the Fleur and Bee Creme de la Creme Face Cream, the Fleur and Bee Eyes Eyes Baby Eye Cream, and the Trader Joe's Face and Body Sunscreen Lotion, which I rolled in. So I'm happy to say that I did finish three of those things, which I don't have with me to show you because they were thrown out before I moved. But I finished the Nubian Heritage Shea Butter Body Lotion. I ended up putting what was left of that bottle into the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Cream container. One of you suggested that on my last update, and I really appreciate that suggestion because it made it so much easier to finish that product. That, I really hated the packaging of that product. It was so hard to get it out of there. But um, I just, I scraped it all out with a beauty spatula and decanted it into that tub so that I could just easily scoop it out and use it up. So I did use that up like right before my move, so that was done. I do still have this small travel container with a little bit of that lotion left in it that I've just been using as a hand cream and keeping in my purse. There's really not much left in here, so I'm still counting that, pro that product as done even though I have a very small amount left in here. I did also finish the Fleur and Bee Creme de la Creme face cream. That just took me like another week after my last update to finish. There was not much left last time, so that was pretty easy to finish up and glad to have finished that as well. And finally, that Trader Joe's face and body sunscreen lotion I also finished. Um, there was not a lot left in there either, but I just wanted to finish it off before I moved. So those are all the things that I finished within the last month. And I have two kind of sad <laughs> updates on the other two products, the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Butter. I, so, checking in to my flight home to Georgia when I was moving, um, I had a checked bag where I had a bunch of uh, products and the bag was over the weight limit by like nine pounds. <laughs> so I ended up having to throw a bunch of things away, like just in the moment, because otherwise they were gonna charge me another $100 to have it be like an oversized bag. So that included a few different body products, including the Trader Joe's body butter and the, I think the Fleur and Bee eye cream was one that got thrown away too. Honestly, I don't even remember, but I can't find it now, so I'm pretty sure that's what happened to it, which makes me really sad. I wanted to have those products for this video, but 
that was just not even on my mind in that moment. I was just like, all right, I just gotta throw things away. I ended up throwing away a few pieces of clothing too. It was awful. I hated having to do that, but that was like my only choice in that moment. I did make some progress on that body butter, but it wasn't finished. And also the eye cream only, you know, there wasn't a ton left in there. I mean, probably another at least month's worth. So I don't think I would have even finished it by now, but I think it's gone. I may end up finding it when I finish unpacking, but for now, I'm pretty sure that it's gone. So, unfortunately, I don't have anything more exciting to tell you about that, but there's my lotion project pan finale. I hope you enjoyed that project pan. I know it was, it was a very short-term project, and I do feel like the bulk of my progress took place in the first, like, two months of it anyway. So, to finish off this video, I wanted to share some year-end stats with you. In total, this is only including products that were in my project pan, either my year-long project 10 pan or my lotion project pan. The number of products that I used up in either of those projects was 24, which I'm pretty proud of that. So to break that down even further, I used up nine makeup products in my project pan. Um, and if you saw my year-end makeup empties video, the total number of makeup products I used up this year was 19. So over half of those were products I used up through my project pan, which I feel like I definitely would not have used up as many products as I did had it not been for this project pan. I used up two foundations, a blush, a contour duo, a lip liner, a concealer, um, an eye eyeshadow pencil, two brow pencils. So. Lots of products that I finished this year, some of which were very challenging. I used up six skincare products, and this is facial skincare. Four of those, uh, you'll see denoted with an asterisk on the screen, four of those were in my lotion project pan. The other three were, the other two were in my year-long project pan. I used up seven body care products. Three of those were in my year-long project pan. Four of those were in my lotion project pan. I also used up two hair care products. So that leaves us with a total of 24 products that I finished. Really proud of that number. I also wanted to let you know how many new pans I hit in my project pan this year. And I these are not counting products that I used up fully, but that I did at least hit pan on. And there were nine new pans hit throughout my project pan this year. Uh, two of them were in my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Duo, which I think I accidentally decluttered. <laughs> I didn't mean to declutter it when I did a declutter earlier this year, but um, I think I ended up adding it into a bundle of items that I was giving away to someone without realizing it, which is fine because I didn't really care about it that much anyway, but <laughs> I probably would have made more progress on it if I hadn't mistakenly decluttered it, but that's fine. I still hit pan on both shades in there. Um, I also hit pan on two shades in my new Dude palette from The Balm. I hit pan on all four shades in my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells quad, and I also hit pan on my Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne blush. So that is nine new pans total as a result of project panning. So I think that wraps up this year's project pan. I've had so much fun this year. I think the accomplishment that I'm most proud of is finishing my Lauren Brooke Cosmetics blush um, because that was just so challenging and I still can't believe I finished it. That was so cool. So. I love panning. It's been so much fun. I feel like I grow to love it even more every single year. So I'm really excited to kick off my 2020 project pan next week. Definitely stay tuned for that. Oh, look who settled in back there. Heidi. Sweet girl. So I think that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Happy New Year and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.